This was an American test of a special new generation fighter jet designed with the ability to change circumstances to counter potential threats in the region. Combat aircraft have always stood as a testament to American prowess, dominating the skies and striking fear into the hearts of adversaries worldwide. From the legendary F-4 Phantom II to the unparalleled F-22 Raptor, the United States Air Force has reigned supreme, boasting unrivaled size and quality that leaves the competition trailing in its wake. Yet, as we stand on the precipice of a new decade, the winds of change are stirring, promising a seismic shift in aerial warfare. In the face of emerging threats and evolving technologies, the United States must adapt or risk falling behind. The 2030S loom ominously on the horizon, heralding a new era where the very essence of air power will be redefined. Join us as we peer into the future, exploring the top secret projects and cutting edge innovations that will shape the destiny of combat aviation for generations to come. Unveiling the B-21 Raider. In the tumultuous arena of military conflict, one thing remains crystal clear. Air and space dominance are paramount for the United States to achieve its military objectives. As per military experts, the NATO air grouping must be capable of unleashing devastation upon up to 100,000 targets per day and night across diverse terrains and weather conditions, all while facing relentless enemy air defense. The crux lies in the selection and realization of the future aircraft concept a decision with implications as weighty as the aircraft themselves. Enter modern combat aviation, comprising strategic bombers, tactical bombers, cum fighters, and versatile attack aircraft, each playing a pivotal role in shaping the battlefield. Peering into the future, let's delve into the U.S. plans for the 2030S across these crucial aircraft classes. Strategic bombers, once the epitome of air power, face a reckoning. Despite the promising start of the B-21 Raiders flight testing, the strategic bomber fleet faces a grim reality. By 2037, the combined numbers of B-52, B-1, and B-2 aircraft will dwindle to less than 170 units, a dire shortfall for the U.S. Air Force. The supersonic B-1, once hailed as a marvel, proved to be a costly misstep, overshadowed by its subsonic counterparts in combat demand. Meanwhile, the iconic B-2 spirit, shrouded in stealth, emerged as the priciest bird in the sky, with a staggering $2 billion price tag and exorbitant maintenance costs. Enter the B-21 Raider, the beacon of hope on the horizon. This sleek marvel integrates cutting-edge stealth technology, rendering it a ghost to enemy radar. With a price tag nearly three times lower than its predecessor, the B-21 promises cost-effective dominance in the skies. Equipped with a sophisticated radar system and boasting ample room for modernization, including the integration of hypersonic cruise missiles and laser weapons, the B-21 Raider stands as the vanguard of American air power. With planned procurement volumes ranging from 80 to 100 units, the B-21 heralds a new era of aerial supremacy for the United States securing its place as the unrivaled force in the skies. The Enigma of Sixth-Generation Fighters In the realm of military aviation, ambiguity reigns supreme as the United States navigates the murky waters of sixth-generation fighter development. Unlike the clarity surrounding strategic bombers, the path to the next era of aerial supremacy is shrouded in secrecy and speculation. Enter the enigmatic world of sixth-generation fighters, where two clandestine programs, F-AXX for the Navy and NGAD for the Air Force, are veiled in layers of classification. Yet, whispers and leaks offer tantalizing glimpses into the form and function of these airborne behemoths. Stealth emerges as the cornerstone of this new breed of fighters, transcending the boundaries of speed and agility. In an age where air defense capabilities have evolved exponentially, stealth reigns supreme, rendering traditional tactics obsolete. 
but stealth alone is not enough. Enter the era of winged UAVs, transforming the battlefield into a symphony of unmanned precision. No longer bound by the limitations of manned flight, drones extend the reach of the fighter, minimizing risk while maximizing lethality. Versatility becomes the hallmark of modern warfare, where every dollar spent must yield multifaceted returns. Gone are the days of single-purpose aircraft. The sixth-generation fighter must excel in air superiority, reconnaissance and precision strikes across land and sea. Enter the era of network-centric warfare, where information is the ultimate currency. Real-time intelligence sharing and target designation redefine the battlefield, ensuring that every move is calculated and precise. But amidst the allure of innovation, challenges loom large. Autonomous drones, while promising, are not yet fully independent, necessitating close proximity for effective control. Beyond the Horizon In the ever-evolving landscape of aerial warfare, the quest for supremacy knows no bounds. Enter the realm of sixth-generation aircraft, where the boundaries between science fiction and reality blur, and controversy reigns supreme. At the forefront of this revolution is the promise of hypersonic speed, a realm where traditional air defense measures falter and missiles become mere toys. Yet, amidst the allure of blistering velocity, lies a tangled web of challenges, from aerodynamic drag to fuel consumption, casting doubts upon the feasibility of true hypersonic flight. But the intrigue doesn't end there. Enter the realm of supermaneuverability, where dogfights of yesteryears fade into obscurity. With the F-35 as the harbinger of this new era, the notion of outmaneuvering a missile becomes a relic of the past, as artificial intelligence takes the helm, pushing the limits of human endurance to the brink. Yet, amidst the allure of unmanned flight lies a profound dilemma, the presence of a human pilot. In a world where artificial intelligence reigns supreme, the question of manned versus unmanned aircraft looms large with ethical and practical considerations at every turn. But the revolution doesn't stop there. Enter the realm of directed energy weapons, where lasers reign supreme and viruses become weapons of war. With Lockheed Martin pioneering the charge, the battlefield of tomorrow promises a new era of disruption and disarray. Deciphering the Enigma In the ever-shifting landscape of military strategy, one question looms large. What will succeed the iconic A-10 Thunderbolt II, the stalwart of aerial warfare for over half a century? Amidst the cacophony of speculation, one thing remains certain. There's no clarity on the horizon. Enter the F-35 Lightning II, hailed as the next evolution in aerial dominance. Designed for direct troop support, its silence among Pentagon officials speaks volumes. Has the mighty F-35 fallen short in the face of the A-10's legacy? The sepulcher of silence holds the answers. But the plot thickens. Plans to retire the A-10 by the decade's end were met with a swift reversal in April 2020. Instead, a fleet reduction coupled with advanced communication upgrades prolongs the A-10's tenure until 2040. Yet, amidst the uncertainty, whispers of unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, emerge, poised to inherit the mantle of close air support. Recent tests of General Atomic's Mojave drone, armed to the teeth with minigun cannons, hint at a future where man and machine merge seamlessly in the theater of war. Is this the harbinger of the A-10's successor? Or will the F-35 rise to reclaim its throne? As we peer into the abyss of uncertainty, one thing is clear. The future of aerial warfare hangs in the balance. What do you envision for the skies of tomorrow? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to show your support by liking and subscribing to our channel dedicated to the cutting edge of modern weaponry. Until next time, 